All right, everybody, welcome to the kit making tutorial. So let's just jump out our little kit, our armature kit. And um, so yeah, he, here are all the parts. I provided you guys with the super glue gel. And these are 3D printed armatures with uh, 1 8 hole for wire and uh, 1 16 hole for wire which I'll provide for you guys in the kit, which will be something like that, and something like this. So I just like, I'll just roll this up for you into a winder. All right, let's get started. So this is the head, the head, the body, and the hip area legs or I guess you could say thigh and then another thigh and then this is like the little uh, shin bone shin bone cool. and yeah so I'll show you how to attach all the wire in a second I just want to show all the pieces and then this could be like uh, I would say like your, hmm, what is that called? Like where your elbow attaches, your forearm, or I guess, yeah, no bicep, sorry. This would be your forearm, this little guy right here. And this is your other little forearm. And then this guy will be your hand. I'll show you how to connect that. That would be like the 1 16th wire. And then uh, we put this over here. And then this is the ankle. Little ankle right there. Pivoting. Ankle on that side. And this is just like where you can put your tie down. Let's get a little focus on that. There you go. And then also provided a, a 3M screw that you can put in here. Like so. And so you can also like drill into your stage and then you can put a little tie down in there and yeah and you and I'll provide this little butterfly net so you can tie that into your stage if you like um, but also there's these back pieces right here that you can use like brass tubing or uh, anything really wire so if you have like a rig or a winder you can simply just attach that and so you can use that for uh, incremental movements but sometimes if the sets um, are a little bit bigger and, and say maybe your rig might cast a shadow onto the stage it's always nice to have these little tie downs ready to go alright so let's uh, continue here let's move the camera a little bit alright cool so let's start off with this 1 16th I'm sorry 1 8th wire So let's start off with a head. I don't know. I always like to start off with a head. But you really can start anywhere. If you saw in my little video, um, I made like a little stop motion time lapse video of this kind of it. Um, just being assembled. So, so yeah. So the 1 16th wire, you can cut it really any shape you want. Um, this it, everything is 3D printed to fit accordingly. Um, so that's the head, and then simply just start attaching everything. It's like kind of like growing up Legos, you know, stop motion Legos. And so um, when I'm cutting this wire, when I'm cutting this wire, I like to use uh, just some wire cutters. See, it has this nice little sharp edge for cutting. 
Uh, you can use scissors too, but this wire is a little thick, um, so you might have some trouble cutting it, which might um, smash the edge. So it might have a little bit of trouble going into like the holes here. So just take that in consideration. Um, you can get a wire cutter uh, anywhere. Home Depot, Harbor Freight, they're pretty inexpensive, maybe like $5. If you want, maybe I can, start, I can look for one that's a miniature one and I can provide them kits. Let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. Let's start with the, um, this would be like the arm section, these two right there. I don't know if you can see those two holes. So it's up to you really about the head as well. Like if that's too, like if you feel like that's too long, maybe that's too long of a neck, just simply get your wire. Let's cut a little bit of that. See, look how simple that was to cut. If you had scissors, you'd be like trying to like cut it and it'd be really tough. But like that's a nice little neck. It's already fully posable. Look, we already got a character going. Nice. And so, yeah. So I like to just get a really long piece of wire for the arms, something like that. And so pretty easily, we just insert this long wire into his top of this block right here. Some people will call it a Dell, not a Dell, but Adele. So it's going all the way into here, you see. Like it's, it's gone down. Whoops. Got a little notification. My web store is. Alright. So you can always head up and down. I like the one that's not showing. And then you can always put like, you can have four arms or whatever you really want. Um, this is your puppet. You can make whatever you want. You can make anything really. So now we just. Bend that guy. Let's put this up a little bit. See how I bent that guy? And then you just do the same thing for the other side. I like to measure it though. So I can make it kind of accurate, a little. That's close enough. Constructing this guy. So nice. So like you can already see like this part is like it's like a little arm now. Hey. Let's put this other side in. Wow, look at that. We got a little arm and a little head. It's starting to come together. So like as you can see is it's kind of it's it's pretty tight. But that's why I like to provide this super glue so you can put just a little bit in there. And uh, sometimes, depending on the glue that you use, it can get a little brittle on this 3D printed part. Uh, I'm developing a new kit that might have a bamboo structure. So we'll see how that goes. Next up, we're going to get the bicep and just like spin it all the way in. It's, sometimes it's a little hard. in there Get some spinning maybe I made the arms too long but hey it's okay it's perfect I got can have the long arms so that's pretty good right there really anywhere is pretty good um, this gives you extra like bendability, you know. And then we're next we're gonna go up to his uh, forearm here. That's silly. I didn't know what a bicep was. Hey man, I haven't took anatomy in a long time. Physical ed. It's been doing stop motion forever in this little dark room for you guys. All right. So yeah, just keep twisting the forearm up until you feel like that's a good spot that's probably good yeah and then uh it's a little too long i mean for 
the excess because now we just have a we just have the hand that we got to put. Um, um, let's do we'll do some measurement hand. That's a good hand right there. One. Cut that gap off. And then uh, yeah, just there's a number of ways you can do it. I like doing it this way. Just stuffing them in there. Nice. Oh, we got some worsted sweet. Okay. All right. Now we got to do the other side. Bicep. Put it in there. So sometimes um, if you don't have a wire cutter and you're trying to do this, this is supposed to be perfectly designed for a uh, one eighth wire. So if you smash it, like smash the end of this when you're cutting with a regular scissors or something that isn't sharp, or say you're just kind of like trying to bend it to break, um, you might end up breaking this guy. And uh, that's why I'm trying to develop the stronger bamboo version but for now this is this works pretty well i mean it's just plastic you know you got to be careful and these armatures i developed them for cheap um for you guys like you could buy them for like 20 bucks uh, and like they're just supposed to be a little bit stronger than wire as you know like using wire tied up can doesn't last as long and this i found has lasted a, lo a little bit longer than usual if I was just to use like regular tied up wire to make my armature. So um, that's about almost the same. I kind of want this higher. There you go. That's cool. Just keep constructing more on here. That's a tight guy. I'm surprised it hasn't broken yet. Just because I was being super forceful to get it in there, but hey, I guess these are designed pretty well. What can I say? And uh, I just like purple. That's why I chose purple. All right, that looks pretty good. So let's cut some of that excess off. That's about it right there. Find the hand. Just smush it in there. That's what I like to do. And you know what? You could use. I mean, you could use this if it, if you're having some trouble. I would actually use it on the wire here, like so, and then twist on there. If you feel like you're having difficulty. But they should, I made, I made the holes bigger than usual so you won't have some trouble. All right, next up, let's move up to the torso hip area. So for this one, you're actually gonna need two, there's two holes here. That's like kind of your stomach that goes up to your hips, which also has two holes right there. So I like to keep the back holes in the back, kind of like it's like a spine. So get some wire here, just unroll it. So we got two here side, so I'll just kind of get a nice one. Cut it in half. Insert there. Just fill it in there. Try the same thing, check what kind of, that's a little long. Guys, cut them a little bit. That's fine. Maybe that's a little too much. Perfect. Yeah, that's 
pretty nice. Spinal cord, I'd say. Look at that. Movability. Hmm. See, it fell out, so that's why I like to add the super glue. Just a little dab is okay. But then you can never get them out, you know? So, like, just kind of kind of be like, alright, that's the perfect size I want for my puppet, you know? And then just start gluing away. Like his head fell in there. No neck, no chin. Alright, cool. Now we're going to move on to the same method with the legs, with the double. And then these also have double too. With the thigh. Alright, so we'll get some wire again. And we'll keep it going. Like I said, just cut a little long one, and then just cut in half. Oh, you know what? I think a good idea is actually to make a really long wire, kind of how we did with the arms. Do it again. I'll show you in a sec what I like to do. So, theoretically, you could put this guy into one of your slots here and then just kind of bend him over. But the new technique that I've been liking to do tee him up. See like I just kinda put a hole. If you can fit in there. That was a So what happened was the spinal wires were conflicting with the inserts here. So they kind of just passed them through. That's okay, now we'll just put it back on top. Like that. Sweet. There you go. It's back in action. See, sorry, I see like the this part was conflicting with this wire here. And see how I just kind of ran the wire through his body, making his uh, legs adjustable. And it's a little easier when you like straighten out the wire, obviously. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know then. See, I'm having trouble here, so it's like easy, like boom, get this guy. And look, he just kind of makes him go all the way through. You don't gotta sweat it. I like the twist. That's why you want a nice straight cut. I don't know what happened here. I guess I do know what happened. The wire I got, whoops. The wire I got is in a roll. That sucks. But that's the only way you can get it. I could bent kind of right here. That's why I need a nice. Just kind of guide it through. The other one went in so easily, man. So check this out. So we got both of the wires right here. See, sticking through the holes. Now we get this guy, the thigh bone. Let's slip him in there, like so. See, it would be a lot easier if you if I cut the wire a little bit. But I'm doing a lot of stuff right now. I'm talking, cutting demonstrating so what I like to do this wire like goes halfway and then his other part that connects to his I guess knee area so give it some room I'd say maybe I cut this a little too not too long so we'll just boop Oh, 
fire bomb. There we go. Other die bone. Just makes it extra stronger because I feel like the the legs are always kind of moving a lot, and then I so you can leave it like this, kind of straight up. I like to twist it, makes it more believable. But also, it also is better if this was kind of longer. I might made my pot there a little shorter. Um, I just gave it kind of like halfway wire room here. So I'm going to insert two more into this bottom part, and then we'll keep going. We're almost done. We're have, we only got a couple more parts left. Cool. So we have some excess that we've been cutting. We'll just throw this guy in there like so. We got some excess. Use whatever you can. Same for this side. It's always, like I said, better to be longer than shorter. Just for like, you don't want it to be too short and you're bending and this plastic might break. It's happened to me a lot. Because you want small characters sometimes, but argu arguably, some might say that 8 to 12 inches of puppet is good for the screen. I think like Barbie, uh, G.I. Joe, stuff like that, they're about 12 inches action figure size. Most productions would have something like that. This looks better on camera. All right, so now we got the, I would say, shin bone. And we're just gonna push them in there, boom, like so. And then we're gonna get the other shin bone. So these gotta be kind of straight when they're going in. Just because you got two, you gotta deal with. But for the most part, it's pretty simple. See, like that's kind of too short. So like you, you, you come into the risk of bending the wires. I mean, bending the plastic. That's good. All right. Next up, we're gonna get one of these, and we're just gonna keep going. Put this in there. So actually, for this one, you might want a little bit of a longer. Um, because the wire is going to slip into this part like so. See, this is like uh, his ankle. And then you push this. Where it kind of like goes into this tab in here. With a longer one to be easier, I'll just use a longer one. I don't know why I'm trying to give myself a hard time. I wanted to use reuse what I had, but it didn't work. All right, so insert here, nice, and then, like I said, it's always better to be longer. Insert that like so, a little wrist, and then now we're gonna bend that, kind of like a ninety degree angle, like an L shape. in a minute why so now we got a leg you know ankle so now we get the foot the final part of our puppet and I see like you can see the 3m screw that I put in there and then this guy just slips in like so So now we're just going to finish the other side, and then we're done. That wasn't too... Oh, actually, we're not done. Shoot, I forgot about the most important part, the fingers. <laughs> I mean, I guess theoretically you could stop here, and then you can just, you know, figure out your own finger department thing going on, but um, I'll show you. I got too excited. Don't get too excited. We're not done yet. All right. 
I should have measured both the feet. Uh, we can do that real quick, I guess, because you want it to be like consistent size, or your puppet's gonna be kind of like lopsided, unless that's what you're going for. No way! Look at that. Cut them to almost the exact same size. I'm pro. You know, got a bunch of these kids. You know. No, just kidding. All right, that never happens. Usually, my guys are like stump, stump footed. All right, put that in there. I wish I didn't unbend him. Get the wristy. Boom, like so. Bend the bendage. Like so. Do the bending. Bendage. I didn't do anything. No, I didn't. I thought I put it backwards for a sec. So it's hard to like do it in front of the screen. So I'm trying my best to make it look good, which I think I'm doing pretty good so far. They usually aren't don't even come out this good when I'm like actually paying attention to it. Get the foot. Insert. The fingers aren't too hard, so don't worry. So it's probably one of the easier things to do. But then again, some people s might say it might be the harder thing to do, so we'll see. Wristed, I mean ankle ridge. And then we bend it. And then insert. I didn't put the 3M screw on here, but I think you saw me demonstrate earlier. Spin goes in nicely. Boom. Footage. Yeah. Look at that. Sweet. All right. All right, guys. Coming together. Look at that. Woo. We got a posable puppet, dude. And do that. All right. Fellows and fellets. All right, so now we're gonna use our, oh, I, I didn't even do the head either, sheesh. All right, so now we got this 1 16th wire. We've been using 1 8th wire for all these other pieces right here. You know, because it's a little thicker, you can see it's a little thinner than this other guy. So, move on to the hands. Let's focus on this guy. Whew. I guess that's as far as it's gonna focus. So you can see right here we have a thumb area right there. So we're going to get a piece of our wire. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert into the hole. So actually, you're going to need a um, some sort of thing to grip it. I guess this is going to be a little difficult, but not too hard. So I like to get it all the way almost on the end. This is such a thin wire that it can bend very easily. So you don't want to get all cheesed off. So let me see if I can demonstrate this nicely. Fill the hole. Put that guy in there. Twist him. Be careful. Oh, look, it's coming out. That's great. Let me try to grip this together. Oh, it's already bending. Sheesh. Okay. See, look. See how the wire started to go through the little hole right here? I kind of fudged up and bent this guy, which is not going to be fun to get in there now. But let's hope it does. smashed it. Yeah. Alright, so that has to come out unfortunately, but that's okay. Mistakes happen. Okay, cut that guy. Try again. 
this piece. So it should just go in pretty easily. I'm trying to get a nice angle for you guys to see. Oh, there we go. Nice. Sweet. So look at that. We got some fingerage and some thumbage. Look at that. Woo! All right, now let's keep going down the old finger hole. Literally. I'm going to start lining them up. Sorry if my fingers are dirty. That's just a bunch of super glue all over them and other stuff, I guess. Other puppet stuff. Just keep them on going. to get them because like they start getting they're so close you can just spin that guy here okay let's keep going last finger Woo. for that side Oh, the other finger fell out. Sweet. There we go. I guess that's good enough for now. I just like to put super glue in these guys. Look at that. We got fully posable fingers now. Look at that. Put some silicone over that. Woo, we're in business. And I can also, yeah, next I'll show you like a next video if you want. I can show you like how to put. Um, foam and latex and we can build the puppet um, let's move on to the face real quick oh, we're almost done so the face you're going to be using uh, same thing that 1 16th wire I provided you so these little two holes right here are going to be for your eyebrows this is for your nose and these ones underneath here are going to be for your jaw so you can make your puppet talk too you don't have to use replacement animation you can if you like um, so let's start with the eyebrows. So you just get, you know, just fit it through. Oh, also I provided these. Um, oh, I guess not on this one. Oh, this one kind of kind of messed up. But usually for the batch that you guys get, there'll be two holes right here, which I developed so you could have ears. This might be a one of my original kit, the first one, V1. So there'll be two holes here, just like the eyebrows, and then you can put like if you wanted to have ears, if it's like a um, say an animal or you just your character just has big old ears. I don't know So now that we have that in there, you're gonna want to bend it into the other hole here It's not the easiest thing But it's also not the hardest either Look at that see eyebrow edge and now we're gonna want to do that For the other side I'll make another video. Just let me know. But the video sucked. Or if it was informative, I like that too. That makes me feel nice. So look at that. We got eyebrow edge. Whoa, my goodness. And then you put the eyes in here, you know. So uh, you put the silicone on, put the eyes in there. You got some eyebrows. All right. Let's move on to the nose. Same thing, like the eyebrows, just whatever size you want. You think would be a good. I mean, I guess this is like more the top jaw, or I'm sorry, top of your mouth. Theoretically, your nose would go here, but I guess I keep saying nose because um, I'll show you in a second why. Uh, I made a wolf character, and I use that as like his top muzzle part, which, and then look, I'll do the jaw part. Uh, the top muzzle part, which, um, you know, is, is part of your nose, I guess, for a wolf. 
or other animal. So we got the jaw on there, and then we just bend that guy. And look at that. We got talkage. Hey. Oops. Well, that's why you gotta put super glue, but he's like, hey, why did my mouth fall off? He was gonna continue talking, but he couldn't. It was a little too short, so that's why it kind of fell off. This one there looks exactly the same as my other piece, but whatever. So, whatever. Because, yeah, it's just fun cutting wire, I guess. You know? Alright, let me just finish this last piece, and then we're all done. For real this time. character minus his other hand but I wasn't gonna there's no need to do that so look at that wow that fully posable armature puppet that you can do anything you want with hey thanks for watching thanks for getting the kit thanks for being a stop-motion animator everybody thanks for visiting the website um, all that stuff if you want to see more uh, kits and more armatures being made stay tuned um, I'm gonna have winders uh, some more uh, rigs I'm gonna be making arc moco uh, things for you I'd like to show you my motherboard here Let's see look at that guy that's gonna be the next thing here arc moco that you're seeing here I made it so you can pan and tilt everything so that's gonna be coming soon for consumers for you guys um, typically they're super expensive that's the reason why I made this um, and I want to give it to you guys for super cheap I think stop-motion should be for everybody um, no matter I mean, I'm not the richest dude in the world, so that's why I had to do all this stuff, you know, make all these things by scratch. And um, I'm just happy that you guys are interested, and I just want everybody to be creative. And I feel like we can all just need a little bit of help. And there's no need to buy those $200, $300, $500 things, you know, to make something. Uh, here, this is the puppet I was going to show you guys. If you want to stay tuned, tutorial's over, but... This is the possibilities that like you can make, you know. Like this is my puppet. Uh, he's he's retired right now. He was for a film, uh, The Wolf's Lament. He is his main star. But look at that. He he's basically this guy. You know, underneath. Look at that. He's the same guy. Same guy. Again. He can move his mouth. Hey. Follow. Two colorful cats video right now. Follow us, please. He's a little scary. Uh, he doesn't like that scary, and maybe he does in the video. If you guys want to see the video, I can link it. Um, it's on our website. I should put it on our website. But yes, tutorial is over. But look at all the cool stuff you can make with your armature puppet. If you would like um, for me to show you how to make something like this guy. Uh, let me know in the comments, drop me a DM, let us know, uh, and I can start, I can show you how to do that. Once you get this step, you feel like you're, you're pro at making the armature, then we'll step up into making latex, belt, puppet, whatever you want. And like I said, when you're all done and you feel like the measurements of your puppet are fantastic, then you just add a little bit of glue on the holes and joints, and you're good. I would say don't dab it on, just put a little bit, you know, just because sometimes, uh, you know, wire can break. And there has been instances where I can, I've been able to save the plastic pieces by using um, the wire cutter to pull it out. So it is possible, like, I only use maybe two, two or three kits to make him, and uh, I, I film for a whole year, so yeah, it just goes to show you. Anyway, thank you guys for for being here and having the kit and having the interest to want to do stop motion. 
I love you guys and girls, fellas, fellettes, dudes, dudettes. And uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Drop a comment. And uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. See you later.